previously on episode 14. We drove from Victoria to Western Australia just before the borders shut. We stayed in Esperance for a little while before heading more west as interested borders within Western Australia were about to close to. We decided to hunker down in a great southern region and find a most remote beach. On this episode, we show you what the first week of lockdown looked like for us. So it's Tuesday the 31st of March. This is day four in our self-isolation beach. So we parked the jeep just over there. We just got a bit like comfortable, it's a bit messy as we're getting stationary. Uh, but yeah, basically the last few days we've been getting used to all new spots, uh, getting back into a routine, doing some work, published some videos for our Patreon page, went swimming and saw some amazing uh, dolphins. So I just checked some clips now. We're gonna head on the other side of the beach. There's like a little cove over there, which looks a little bit less rough today. So Chris is gonna get his spare fishing uh, gear and we'll see if he catch some fish. And 40 minutes later, starting from camp over there, we made it. Yes. Time to get in. So Chris is getting ready. I just want to spot on the shade. And I'm just having my leftover lunch. Some pasta, veggie bolognese. First catch. Fish number two. Fish number two. And fish number three, the last but fish not least. Three. Nice job. Thank you. So Chef Chris is cooking the fish. Frying up some goodies. With some Straight fresh rosemary that we yep. found just next to camp. And some olive oil and lemon juice. All right, so it is day five here at our beach. Still not a soul in sight, which is really cool. We just trained, just did a cool little beach workout. And just now cooking me some beans and eggs. And the swell is still looking a little bit larger than I would like for spearfishing. But we had a good feed last night of three different fish. Soon we're going to get some water from the freshwater stream. We'll take you along for that. Oh, 
and she's just got some water in the shower bag for her shower and some dolphins have come right to shore to say hi it's gonna run out <laughs> and see how they're doing So I've just set up the shower, so we filled up the bucket with some fresh water and just got the shower. We got a bit creative today, used the ladder <laughs> for the shower head. Pretty good setup. We'll see how I go. morning all right so it is day six in our spot on the lockdown now a couple of days ago we decided to go for a drive on the beach to keep the car running and by the time we'd parked back up in our spot it had just gushed out all of the power steering fluid all over the ground so I thought the worst I thought the actual steering box itself the main seal had gone in which case would be really badly stranded and in need of a new one which is uh, really expensive as well and we'll probably have to potentially get it from the states so i took the airbox and the snorkel out um, and the guard and stuff and it turned out on the very top of the power steering pump which you can't actually see without the airbox out of the way uh, one of the bolts that holds one of the steel pipes and had come loose and that's where it had all gushed out so that's great news and that it was only a leaking hose bad news is we are 21 kilometers <laughs> from town i've rung them up they do have power steering fluid yeah. <laughs> which is awesome bad news we've got a hike there so yesterday we sat on it didn't do too much um, we weren't in the best mood to be honest uh, i did catch some fish for our dinner which was cool and so this morning we're all packed up got water and stuff and we are making the hike which will be 42k thereabouts by the time we get back so um yeah not looking forward to this but it could have been way way worse so after eight hours more than 40 kilometers of walking on sand uphill rocky outcrops all kind of terrains we are back on our beach i can't even feel my legs my whole body is exhausted all i can think of is a huge stack lying down on the roof nest just watching ozark and not moving until tomorrow <laughs> sounds like a plan so yeah, Chris will do the power steering liquid tomorrow, we're just too tired to do it now. So fingers crossed this solves the issue. Okay, we're home. <laughs> what a tough slide.
Moment of truth. The magic liquid. In the general universe. So, update. This is day eight since we've arrived in Roma Bay. So, we are on the road again. Uh, we are heading toward Albany uh, because Roma Bay, unfortunately, just only has like a small general store and we're starting to run out of food. So, Albany has more grocery stores um, available. So, we'll replenish the food tomorrow. And on the way to Albany, we'll check out as well a few beaches. Yeah, so hopefully we can find a beach that is still remote but not as extreme of four drive access after the bit of the fiasco with the power steering fluid. Um, it kind of yeah made me pretty uncomfortable about the position we were in because we couldn't have got a tow out of that spot, there's no way. So if the car had been legitimately broken down and the pump had blown or something, then we would have been right up the creek without a paddle. So in Albany, uh, I also need to get a snorkel, a spearfishing snorkel, because somehow it disappeared in the surf uh, before I could even start my hunt yesterday. Uh, I don't even know how it happened. So one of the reasons as well why we've left maybe a day or two early, but yeah, we'll get some more food and we'll try and find another beach. That was a brutal workout. So we did in total five rounds. So we were sprinting up the stairs, then going down with a kettlebell. Uh, we had 15 squats, 15 kettlebell swings, and 15 push-ups. By the end of it, and then having to carry all the kettlebell back to camp, that was pretty tough. <laughs> so we're just having breakfast. I just made pancakes for Chris. I'm just getting a bit more creative um, with my breakfast recently because now we've got a bit more food. Uh, so I'm just making like some fruit bread protein French toast with some caramelized banana and some peanut butter. Stay tuned for part two next week where we show you our new spot near Albany and I take you along for some spearfishing.